To be honest, I wasn't thinking about him. I wasn't thinking about anyone, really. I just, I wanted to be right. I wanted to be right so badly. And were you? I thought so. But maybe I just don't want to admit that I'm wrong, because if I'm wrong, then- You're what everyone thinks you are. Just a kid who has no idea what she's doing. It's not easy out there, Nance. I know. People are always saying you can't, that you shouldn't, that you're not smart enough, not good enough. This world, it, it beats you up again and again until eventually I, most people, they just, I just stopped trying. But you're not like that. You're a fighter. You always have been. I honestly don't know where you get it from. Dad. <laughs> I think you were swapped in the hospital, to tell you the truth. you get it from. I'm proud of you. Proud of me for getting fired. That you stood up for yourself. That you stood up to those shitheads. Mom. Yes, those shitheads. <sighs> and if you believe in this story, look at me, Nancy. Finish it. Then go and sell it to the Indianapolis Star or whatever. And, I mean, can you imagine their faces when they read a story about their own town in a big paper like that? That would be pretty amazing. So why not? Why not? Finish it. 